Hello and welcome back to another movie reaction. Sarah, what are we watching today? Today we are watching a film called Sicario. Wow. What is Sicario? What do you think what do you think it is? I'm really not sure. It could be anything. It could be a place. Place. It could be a person. Person. It could be Mario's cousin twice removed. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be that's a theory. That is a theory. But you know, that's what we're here to find out. I know yes. it's I know it's got Benicio del Toro, he's always playing very unique characters, so I'm excited. How's, how does it feel to be back? It feels like we never even left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We won't dilly dally around. I think it's showtime. I'm feeling that music already though. That that like that really dump low. It. Yeah. Well, here we go. The word Sicario comes from the Zealots of Jerusalem. Ooh. Killers who hunted the Romans who invaded their homeland. In Mexico, Sicario means hitman. Okay, so let's probably go. probably not Mario's cousin. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting right in it. Yeah. Right off the bat. Can't tell if she's nervous or just first day on the job, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. FBI. Okay. Oh, he's from uh, Get Out. Nice. This reminds me of the, how the raid started. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are are going we crashing in? in? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Damn, sucks to be that guy. He was just eating his cereal. What a house call. They're not going out without a fight. FBI! There it is. Ooh. Oh, my God. That was clutch. Real quick reflexes. Yeah, Man. you have to be. You okay, Mason? Yeah. Why'd he shoot? There's no one here. Or is there? Is there something behind the walls? What the fuck? Bo I can't Ooh, tell if those bodies it or. Might be. Damn. Let's see how long they've been there. Yeah, I have a wasp puke. It must be bad. Are there more? It's not just, is it just these two or? Uh, yeah, it could be more. We're going on hostages. No, that was something else. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. This whole house is probably filled with them. It's one big graveyard. But she said they're not their hostages, so. I think they stumbled onto something else. Like, was this house built around that? Yeah. Weird. It almost feels like it. How many total? We've got 15 in this hall here, about 20 in the back bedroom. 20? Oh my Jeez. gosh. Well, the house is owned by Manuel Diaz. No way to connect him, but he owns it. But, uh, and that other guy, that guy in the beginning was just chilling in that house, you know? Yeah. Oh no, what's in there? Hope it's not like rigged or anything. Pickers! Need bolt cutters! Jeez. I feel like, that, I mean, seeing something like, like that would just haunt you, like, yeah. forever. Be in your nightmares. Oh, man. Oh, shit! You were right. Damn, I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't like it. Ah. Uh. Oh my, oh, it's his hand. Rough day on the job. <laughs> and then some. Such a heavy body count this close to Phoenix is without a doubt a major escalation Cartel. for the cartels. Mm. What's going on? No idea. She's been leading our kidnap response team for three years. Nobody's gonna be happier than Kate to see these guys go down. You ever work cases? Been kicking doors since day one. I like her already. What about the partner? ROTC scholarship to Maryland, did a tour in Iraq, got his law degree from UNC. No lawyers on this train. Just give me the girl. Well, are they nervous that they're in trouble or something? Oh, it could be. Maybe they're... Seems like they're getting <laughs> another job, though. Will you step in here, Kate? <laughs> You're not in trouble or anything. It's okay. Yeah, feels like they're going to the principal's office. Yeah. 
and be so uncomfortable. They look Quite very fine today. The loss of two officers notwithstanding. How familiar are you with Manuel Diaz's operation? But he's rumored to be linked with one of the Mexican cartels. Manuel Diaz works for the Sonora cartel. He's most likely their senior member in the United States. What do you know about his brother? Oh. Guillermo. Cousin is Fausto Alarcón. Shit. I don't know who that is. No one does. He's off the grid. Are you married? Am I married? Or do you have a husband? A divorced? Anything else? Basically, is he just like, checking to see like what ties she has? Yeah. To Civilian life. If she has anything to lose. Yeah. Who are those people, you know? No idea. Seems like she's about to go on a special mission. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Almost one of the flops. DOJ wants advisors that focus on cartels involved in pursuing Mr. Diaz. This is Matt Graver. He'll be leading the team. State Department is pulling an agent from the field that specializes in responding to escalated cartel activity. Mm. He'll be part of the team. Yeah, we're gonna go see Guillermo. Diaz's brother. Oh, fuck. Uh, he's in the uh, El Paso Texas. area. Okay, you must volunteer for an interagency task force. Do we get an opportunity of the men responsible for today? She wants to the men who down. are really responsible for today, yeah. That's, that's your answer then. I'll volunteer. Wow, there's no hesitation on that. No. She knows what she wants to do. Papá, despiértate. Ya, ya, hombre, ya. Vamos, papá, tenemos que ir al juego de fútbol. Mamá, papá, ¿listo al café huevos? Tenemos prisa, mamá. Sí, sí, mi cariño. Do you have any idea what he's saying? I think they want to play, do you want to play, kick the ball around? I feel like he's somewhat important. I don't know. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Oh, taking, having some alcohol in the morning. Breakfast of nice. champions. Is that in his coffee? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Maybe we should try sometime. Mm. Oh, is he... Police? Oh! Local police? You keep an eye on that doughy prick with the flip-flops. <laughs> don't trust him. She's on the list, but you're not. Well, what's she supposed to do? I need you to turn this around for me. It's fine. It's good. I wonder if they're really going to El Paso. Oh, you think they could have been lying? Maybe leaving some details out? I don't know. I kind of get the feeling of like that, but... Are you taking this? Yep. Yeah. One of the best for you. DOD flies around in private jets, huh? <laughs> yeah, you guys don't have one of these? Right. Yeah, some bitching peanuts in the back. <laughs> Is this our boy? <laughs> Cool glasses. You ever been to Juarez before? Uh, I was right. No, I... Mexico. We're going to El Paso, right? <laughs> wow. I feel like she's about to get into some real yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So really, she has no idea what she's going into. Like, no. everything that... I mean, he didn't say much anyway, but... It feels like we're on some alien landscape all <laughs> right? of a sudden. <laughs> The music too. Yeah. I wonder if that's just like the door's on. Yeah. I wonder if it's on edge. Nightmares. PTSD. Yeah, it could be a lot. I feel like he's seen some things. Mm, I feel like anyone involved in this has right. to have. So this is your specialty. Hmm? The cartels in Mexico are your specialty. Yeah. Is there anything I should know? For now, let's just keep an eye on the time. So I would get a little nervous. How are you feeling? Well, when I pee, it burns. Ouch. Well, maybe it's going to Rio. So who's going over there today? Marshalls, DEA. I pulled a team for you, Matt. Oh, man, I love it when you say team. Makes me all warm and fuzzy. Oh, they're a crack bunch, too. Just rotated back from Afghanistan. We've got very different personality types in this car. Exactly. <laughs> Mexican federal police will meet you at the border and proceed with you to the courthouse. Likely spots for an attempt will be at the exchange and at the border crossing on the return. And here's the man of the hour. You sober? <laughs> we'll be by the time we get there. Got a bottle in the truck in case your hands get shaky. 
Delta's Team 1 will be the lead vehicle. We can divide Team 2 between the carry car and the trail vehicle. Is that okay? Do you think there's another reason they brought her here? I don't know. It feels like... She feels out of place. Exactly. I think she's starting to notice that. Be aware. Let's go. I feel like we're going, going to war, man. <laughs> and still no one has explained anything yeah. to her. <laughs> I feel like she, she might not know the magnitude of what's going to happen. Have you ever been over there? I worked in the waters. For who? For Mexico. I was a prosecutor. What do you work for now? Oh, I go where I'm sent. Columbia. Mm. And you will doubt everything that we do. But in the end, you will understand. But that's very mysterious. Yeah, it's <laughs> mysterious, vague. What are some specifics here, guys? He's a DOD advisor just like me. No, he's not. But just pay attention to Alejandro, and if he says do something, just do it. I'm not authorized. Kate, okay, you volunteered to get on this train because you, you know you're doing nothing in Phoenix. Okay, you're just sweeping up a fucking mess. I feel like we still need some but like, why, information. Like, why can't they give her any more? Is it like, just yeah. because it's going to be so crazy that right. they just have to throw her into it? Mm -hmm. You can't explain it. You got to look for it yourself. So he's just... He's just someone i feel like he's a lot more than who he's saying that they're taking like advice from yeah i mean maybe he's done stuff like this before in fact they did go to el paso it's just yeah we're going to el paso and then and then there's a go scary music yeah, I don't know. <laughs> i feel like things are about to get real can she I get see. a gun there she is <laughs> He has a ring on his finger, uh, like a wedding ring. Oh, uh, <clears throat> the guy driving? I don't know, the uh, glasses guy. Uh, oh, Benicio? Yeah. I don't know if that means anything. Yeah. But... Is it part of his cover? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he was wronged, his wife was murdered or something. Yeah, that's, that's why he does this. <laughs> Bienvenidos. Enjoy your stay. No more weapons. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's going to change. Wow. <laughs> what a sport. It's like racquetball. Oh, with your hands. Not the racket. <laughs> Wonder when we'll see the guy from earlier again. Yeah, the cop. Yeah. How Welcome to what? Oh, God. What? Holy shit. Damn. That is crazy. When they mutilate a body like that, they make people think they must have been involved. They must have deserved such a death because they did something. You hear that? Those aren't firecrackers. It's about to get real. Damn, that's a big city, isn't it? It is. Man, there must be a lot of like enemy forces if they have this big of a yeah. group with them. They try anything and we'll be at the border. Keep an eye out for the state police. Mm. We're not always the good guys. We got some dirty cops. Oh, they're escorting a prisoner. Okay. So Tyler, who did they is say? That, is that the brother? Or Guillermo, or it's, Guillermo or Fausto, the cousin, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the cousin too. So are they taking him back to, to America? Yeah, then? I think so. Okay. And... To do who knows what to him, probably torture him, right? State police. I wonder if that's that cop from the Is beginning. it an enemy? Yeah. Everyone stay in this lane. Our agents at the border are waving traffic through to get us over as quickly as they can. All uh, right. But we're stuck. We're stuck in traffic? Yeah, I bet. Uh, Here's the deal. That's terrifying. Car broke down up ahead. Was that a, a plan? Plan thing? They're sitting ducks, basically. 
And you don't know who could be an enemy. I know. Get your service weapon out. Red and Paula, two lanes over on my 10. Oh, he's, re down. he's ready to go. <laughs> Gun. Yeah. Oh, Gun. Shit. Gun left. What are the rules here? We must be engaged to engage. Man, that would be so tense. Yeah. Like, just waiting. They're ready to go. And what are they waiting for exactly? <sighs> this is great build up. It's gonna be a lot of uh, wait, wait, wait. civilians. Oh, she said wait. Why'd you say wait? They just had, she just has a handgun, that's it? I feel like I need something else. What if they're just decoys? Maybe. That was too easy. Don't do it. Don't do it. You wanna die? I, I need to do. Yeah. Shit. Wow. Oh! Good shot. That was another another really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> quick reflexes. We're gonna be on the front page of every newspaper in America. No, it won't. They won't even make the papers in El Paso. Yeah, a little nutty, huh? Nutty, yeah, yeah. That was fucking illegal. You want to start a war? Oh. You're a fucking spook. I'm not a soldier. This oh, is not what I do. Look. What is is what happens when they dig in? What? This is it. What am I doing here? What you're doing here is you're giving us the opportunity to shake the tree and create chaos. That's what this is. Learn. That's why you're here. Okay, so all of that was completely unexpected to her. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a lot to, uh, to try not, to handle. They're not really by the book, are they? <laughs> no. Guillermo. So this is the brother. Mm-hmm. You're giving him a belly full of water, you devil. Doble inglés. No hablo inglés. You know, I brought an old buddy of yours. I bet you I'll go to him. Oh, the other guy? Or him? Him. You know, ghosts got thirsty. I know someone kept him alive for us. I doubt it was easy. What's easy these days? There's rumors of a tunnel. Fausto's main road into Arizona. Something happens in that room. It's easier to say you didn't see anything. Lo siento. Por lo que pasó. So he's sorry for what happened. Mm -hmm. But did we? It, he didn't talk about what happened, or did they? Just like yeah, I know. Like, sorry for just what just happened, or like something, something else. They, in the I, past. We have no idea. Oh, <laughs> is this for a little waterboarding or something? Yeah. Uh oh. Look at his face. That quickly Get a changed. Nervous. I'm gonna step out. Turn the camera off. What do you keep looking at me for? No I'm listening glass, remember? No telling what he's doing to him. Meanwhile. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> trying to take it all in. Can you have one of those? Yeah, you can use one. Like fireworks? Huh? Wanna see something cool? Come on. I think we've had enough we've had enough fireworks for today. Here we go. Yeah. What the hell is going on over here? How nice. That's what happens when you chop the head off a chicken. Yeah. Yeah, how long does it take to get to Tucson? Um, from here, it's a little over two hours. All right, we'll be there around two. They let me on a base when you need to ride, don't they? You okay? She's fine. I didn't ask you. And yet I answered. They're not gonna get along. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now they're taking their attention to Fausto, the cousin. So what happened with the other guy? I think he may have talked. I don't know. That's You think that's what the information was that he gave? Was... Well, the 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 guy that Alejandro was talking to mentioned Fausto's tunnel in Arizona, but I'm not sure what Guillermo 
Mm. Like what information exactly they wanted from Guillermo? Yeah, it's Kate Mace with the FBI as her partner. What's his name? It was her call. Yeah, it wasn't my call. Have you got another one of those? Finish it before you get up there. No problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> what do we have here? We want to talk to the people caught around the Nogales area. Atención! Todo Nogales, grupos A, B, E. Are these people that were using the tunnels? Unless they got more information from Guillermo, and this is why they're doing this, I'm not really sure. What are we looking for? Just keep watching. Ah, it was like her, you know? He is so frustrating. Where? In Arizona. Arizona? Is that casado? Yes, sí, señor. Talk to me. What do we do? I don't have any answers for you. Well, let's get some back. Do you think you can do better? Yeah. Go ahead. Matt, can we talk for a minute? It was very serious. There's inner darkness the way you're treating us. You go. I didn't ask you to be here. She did. I walked too. What are you gonna do? They sounded like they needed it. They wanted her. Yeah. Guillermo told us about a tunnel east of Nogales, near Sasaba. Right. Now we're trying to find out what areas near there migrants avoid. Okay. Guillermo is? Guillermo, he just told you where the drug tunnel is. No. <laughs> Manuel Diaz is called back to Mexico to see his boss. That's the truth. And they intercept him? His name is Fausto Alarcón, El Verdugo. To find him would be like discovering a vaccine. Wow. All right, we're good. <laughs> now, would that have been so hard to explain yeah. before? I think that's why Josh Brolin didn't want to bring him because he's got a lawyer background, so he'd be like uh, asking questions and. <laughs> like you smoking again? Yeah. <laughs> so it seems like Fausto is the big guy. Manuel works for Fausto? So they said the areas of the tunnel that the migrants were avoiding would help? Or yeah. something like that? Would it help lead them to. Right. So maybe just because that's he's for. That's where his crew is yeah and we haven't seen that cop yet since the beginning yeah hmm, interesting ben, ven a comer. here we go he's working hmm. gotta get you a new bra woman <laughs> it's been a while since someone's seen me in a bra except you Oh, God, don't look at me like that. I don't want your pity. <laughs> you know, I used to see guys like Matt in Iraq. Gotta be careful around these people. CIA is not supposed to work this side of the fence. We're not even scratching the surface. Doing what we're doing. And they are. What's the password? <laughs> Moron. <laughs> Las pajaritas. This is our spot. Mira, mira. No, no, no. Esta es la tierra de la droga. ¿Tú conoces la zona? Pues, pues, mira, pues, por muchos años era el mejor lugar para cruzar. That's our way across. So Guillermo was telling the truth. Have any friends at Phoenix Swap? Uh, yeah, we use them in breaches all the time. Yeah, because we're going to need their help. You know the Heimlich? Oh, yeah. He tries to eat that deposit receipt, you Heimlich it right out of her, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> you want bank computer service? No, 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 just the money. I'll freeze all his accounts, everything. Even if his mm. dog opening an account, I want you to freeze it. Mobile money launder. You coming? No, don't go in the bank. This is something we can actually build a case on. Why? Because you get a face on her? Like an ID? Maybe. Now they know who she is? Yeah. So it doesn't have to be reported. That's right. And you can see that? Yeah, I already have. And I'll go through these wire transfer numbers and freeze all these accounts as well. This is a bank line of credit. So you make payments over what you owe. And it doesn't show up as cash, it shows up as a negative loan balance. Ooh. Mucho. <laughs> <laughs> Can't prosecute. I didn't get Manuel called back to Mexico. That's the objective. We have no jurisdiction it. in Mexico. We have nothing. <laughs> We're gonna get 
look into Manuel's life. Perhaps. Looks like a pretty nice house. I'm sure he's gonna retaliate with something. $9,000 is deposited into this account every day in cash. We prosecuted more felony drug cases in this region last year than in the two previous years combined. Are you feeling that on the street? Hmm. Advisors like Matt come in, they stir the pot that cause the criminals to react and make mistakes. I don't have the authority to hire advisors or authorize joint agency missions or fly agents from Air Force bases. These decisions are made far from here. The hands are tied. In, in the White House. So if your fear is operating out of bounds, I am telling you, you are not. Do whatever you gotta do is what he's Basically, saying. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it takes to get the job done. I need a fucking drink. Where you wanna go? Cigarettes, Anywhere. drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried. They really place a lot of emphasis on her being shown on the camera. So maybe they're gonna like, what, start following her? Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you what, Diaz is like, I mean, he's gonna retaliate in some way. Wild pony. <laughs> Yeehaw, this feels like a dangerous spot. Yeah. I wouldn't like I wouldn't feel comfortable just like going out by myself. No way. <laughs> She's just been so stressed this whole yeah. time. I feel so bad. <laughs> Who's this guy? Yeah. He looks a little suspicious. I want a cigarette so bad. See, I hate to go on about this, but I think the bra situation is the least of your problems. Okay. Because you look like shit. You need to work on your personal hygiene, huh? You sound like my she looks so terrible, right? Right. Where have you taken me? What is this place? It's a bar. It's full of cowboys. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> You're a redneck. <laughs> Big red. Damn. Oh, they know each other. Maybe he just wants to pick her up. Ted, Phoenix PD, Kate, my partner. How you doing? Just Ted's fine. I saw you play softball once. They game. <laughs> when you struck out and oh, slow pitch softball. Divorced. Oh. Is this a setup? <laughs> yeah, it is a setup. You don't think he's like working. I don't, I don't know. know. He, I don't trust kind of anything he, right now. He was kind of looking at her a little suspicious mm. at the beginning. Do some no to do. Texas she, two she's having, a, she's having a good time, but her defenses are low. Yeah. There it oh. is. <laughs> that was a nice transition. Huh. I feel uneasy still. Wait a second. Huh. What was that that he just threw down? Oh, was that one of those little things? Bracelets. <gasps> Shit. He's dirty. Fuck. Oh no, she's in danger. Oh no. That's cool. That was... It's a trick. Oh. Oh, does he know he that knows, she, knows? she knows? Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here, stop, 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 talk to me. Just Fuck. Talk to me. Stop. Shit. What the fuck? Shit. What, the, what the fuck? You don't think it's just like a misunderstanding? There's no way. He should just let her go if that's... That's true. Yeah, he would He's not, he's like trying to... He's trying to kill her now. You did this? Did they just capture her? Oh. What? Oh! Alejandro! Let's go! So he followed them here. Yeah. Say by the bell. Okay, now she's probably never gonna trust another man no. ever again. He used me as bait. I told you not to go in the back. Yeah. Damn. Love how we're gonna pretend like I planned this. Why don't you just write that in your report? <laughs> Yo, she's shaking. Like everyone's just like acting like, ah, oh, it's just I another know, day on the like, job. I don't know, give her a nice blanket, cup of tea, cup of something. Tea. <laughs> yeah, I think she's got her secrets. She's like, oh. <laughs> thought he was afraid. I know. How many other corrupt motherfuckers are you working with on this side of the border? They came to me and they wanted details about her case. And yes, I, 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 did, I did it, I gave it to them, but I never wanted anybody to get hurt. 
Oh! You know what the beauty is of you being so beat to a pulp? Because no one's gonna notice a few more scratches. <laughs> I'm the one who decides whether your daughter get federal protection. Or whether we post your ex-wife's address on the internet. Holy Whoa. fuck. Decisions, decisions. This is where you negotiate how to survive, my friend. I, I, I feel like this whole thing, she's gotten away from me. <sighs> this is not the time, man. Fuck, get it off! Get it the fuck out! Ow! Oh. He's very creative with this torturing. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you everything you want to know. You just gotta promise me that my, my daughters that they're gonna be safe, okay? Give me all the names of all the motherfuckers they got working on the force. <laughs> He's just smiling the whole time. He was made for this job. How are you feeling? Better? You should have shot him. I just tried to have sex with my head, man. Thank you. You remind me of someone very special to me. Get some rest. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow they'll call Manuel Diaz back to Mexico. Mm -hmm. He's got a heart of gold <laughs> in the inside, right? Yeah, they've, they've grown a little bit of a connection. Yeah, especially after, you know, you just <laughs> saved, saved her, her life. life. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man, she has been through it. On the objective. What's going on here? Just truck? Ten this guy, where does he play into this? You work today. Good night. Good night. Damn, that breakfast looks insane. Wow. Look <laughs> how big a tortilla <laughs> is. No. He could be like the, the head know. honcho? I don't know. That's how it always is, though. You know, like, the head honcho is always, like, the person you never expect, yeah. but... What's going on? What's the plan? We're going hunting. Looks like Manuel Diaz is being called back to Mexico. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm fine. How are the neck? It's better, thank you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Once we clear the mules, we don't expect more than a dozen bandits. Uh, they use Mexican police for vehicle transport. This is an in and out. We're clearing, placing an agent. It's all about creating a diversion. There you go. This looks like confirmation. Those are special ops. Are we going in on this? No, you guys aren't really dressed for it. Oh, well, you didn't fucking tell us. You guys will hang back when we get there, okay? Then where are we going? Because CIA can't operate within US borders without a domestic agency attached. Oh. I told you it'd be useful. Wow. So that's it. That's why I'm here. That's Just it. a tool. Yep, that's all they were. <sighs> Not the whole, like, oh, you're gonna make the change. Yeah, you know. yeah, make a real change. That was all just sweet talk. Okay. Oh, she's gotta be so Fuck pissed. People, man. They've been using us from the beginning. We don't have to do this. I need to know what they used us for. Number three, one, Bravo, seven. Thanks. Are we sure that's the right guy? It's not like a decoy or something? I know. <laughs> I feel like it's too. Do you think they would know that he's being what? You would think. You would think. Like he would just. Why would he just go by himself? I don't he know. He was just. I don't know. Oh, there he is. Uh, so he is dirty. I feel like these two stories are going to collide for sure. Ooh, storm's coming. That's a great shot. <laughs> Gotta hit the tunnel the minute we get on the ground. Pretty exciting, huh? What's target's location? 14 miles south of Nogales, heading west, rapidly. Keep your fucking safeties on. Barrels pointed down. Stay in the back. She's not an idiot. Yeah, they've, yeah, exactly. Dang. Alejandro is ready. Night vision goggles check. Signal's good. I'll take Alpha Squad, I'll take the beast. You think it's gonna go smooth? No. <laughs> something bad's gonna happen for Unlikely. sure. Unlikely. I think they may be anticipating something. Oh, this oh. is making me unsettled. <laughs> really cool though. How they did this. It could be anyone, anywhere. Damn. 
birds. 50 meters. You're 3 o'clock, Alpha. I feel like I can't say anything. I know, it's like... You gotta keep an eye out for yeah. danger. All right, we need to boogie and we need to do it quiet till we find the center. Draw the fighters to you and make some noise. Uh, there could be traps. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's so small. Yeah, tight quarters. It's claustrophobic. Oh, there's one. The killing's already beginning. One, two... <laughs> ah, light. Yo, is she gonna get lost? They're lagging too far behind. Yeah. Uh-oh. Shit! Leave me. Stay in my seat. She's getting, she got lucky again, man. Oh. That is happening right now. Ah, are you the man? Dame los llaves. Give me the keys. Dame los. Las manos arriba. Freeze. Put that down. I mean it. Move away from him right now. Bro. What? Don't ever point a weapon at me again. <laughs> Holy shit! Get your breath. And get back up there. <laughs> that was just like, a... wow. Jeez, that would be just a shock. I am through. Do you have my location? Roger, we have you. Target is east and north of you. It's like using him as a cover, you know. Okay. Tengo un hijo. Where's lo que haces ahora de por tu familia? I thought she was with you. We gotta go back. Oh shit. Uh oh. Hey! Whoa, whoa. Oh my god. This is going bonkers. Stop me! Stop moving! Stop! Alright, you gonna stay there? Or are you gonna stay there? <sighs> You listen. You went at the wrong tunnel. You saw things you shouldn't have seen. Oh. Yeah. What is Medellin? Yeah, that's what he said, Tovio, to Alejandro. Medellin refers to a time when one group controlled every aspect of the drug trade, providing a measure of order that we could control. Order's the best we can hope for. So they want to control the drug trade? Wow. What you saw up there was Alejandro working toward returning that order. Oh. Uh... Yeah, fuck. He works for the competition. <laughs> Alejandro works for anyone who will point him toward the people who made him so he can get the person that cut off his wife's head and threw his daughter into a vat of acid. Damn! Oh my god. That's fucked. You need to just take a breath. You gotta fucking talk. No, you're not. Yeah. You don't think they would kill her, would they? Maybe she shouldn't be saying that right now. That would be a major mistake. Holy sh- no way. You don't think they would kill her? I wouldn't put it past them. Or somehow like pin like end up have her end up in jail Ooh, or something. Maybe. So he's just trying to take out the company. Okay. I mean I I guess I was kinda right about the whole revenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ahora los focos. Vas a mandar a parar ese coche. Is this guy gonna die? Silvio? This cop. He and... might. Prender al tajos. Y dile que salga del coche. We might use him as like a shield. Bajate, cabrón. ¿Cómo es quién soy? ¿Eh? ¿Y de qué lo hace? ¿O que le vamos a matar? Te voy a matar, puto. 
Te tiré la pistola. Tira la pistola. Ok. You could have another one. Yeah, you could definitely have another one. ¿Qué quieres? Oh, man. Wow. It was just a, yeah, just a pawn. Si te conozco. Si intentas cualquier cosa, tus hijas morirán violadas por 20 mamarrachos. Súbete. Súbete. Oh, so he's, he's going to do the same thing yeah, with him. Thing. And then he's going to... the boss. <laughs> wow, what a system. Uh, That's Epistovio. Damn. Just like that, man. Hello. Yo, is Benito the Toy about to take out the whole operation by himself? <laughs> that was lightning quick. Yeah. We'll stop the car. I'll get out. But what happened to me? Damn. Yeah, that's nice though. It is. <laughs> I wonder if they know something's up. It's already too late. This is like a kind of like a Trojan horse yeah. kind of deal. Six remain. Six? That's it. That's nothing. We'll be back in time for breakfast. <laughs> so quick. You think he might do what he did to him and like destroy his family right in front of him? So is that that's it? That's left. Yeah, because he killed that was five. He, he plus killed the guy he just yeah. killed. Oh my god! Come on, come on. I don't know if they can eat. Every night you have families killed, and yet here you dine. Come on, come on. I couldn't eat. <laughs> Do you think the people that sent you here are any different? Your wife. He knows them. You think she'd be proud of what you've become? I don't know if you're the guy who should be giving advice. Yeah. Don't forget about my daughter. No fue personal. Para mí sí. It wasn't personal, but for him it was, obviously. I'm in front of my boys. Ahora vas a conocer a Dios. Yo, I freaking knew it. Go ahead and finish your meal. It'll be a last. Oh. He wanted him to suffer like he did. Damn, yeah, he's, I mean, but he's a pretty bad guy too. Yeah. Like, it wasn't the kid's fault. I know. That sucks. What about her? What's next for her? I don't know. Bro, what if he comes back to kill? No way. I would recommend not standing on balconies for a while, Kate. You don't think he's gonna kill her too? Low key, like he definitely could. I mean, he's capable of doing anything, as you've seen. Sit down. <gasps> you look like a little girl when you're scared. You remind me of the daughter they took away from me. That's what I figured. Is he gonna do it? <sighs> oh, what's this? I need you to sign this piece of paper. Mm. If not, you're I mean, dead. Yeah, what kind of choice do you have? Oh, I can't sign that. Sign it. Oh, God. <laughs> no. She has to know, right? It's like, it's like pointless for her not to do it. Because at least alive, maybe there's change she can make somewhere else. Maybe. Oh my gosh. 
have it. Move to a small town. You will not survive here. You're not a wolf, and this is the land of wolves now. She's not gonna do it. No. He said, never point your gun at me ever, ever again. again. No, it. He did. Uh. Oh, Silvio. Wow, imagine that reality. That's sad. That was depressing. Yeah. <laughs> so we just finished Sicario. Wow. And I think we both feel a bit dejected. Yeah, yeah, a little just After shocked. That. And overall, how'd you feel about it? I mean, it was a really good movie. Yes. Um, I would say I felt I feel like watching most like throughout most of it, I would say like my main feeling was just like constant discomfort. Like I felt uncomfortable yes. the entire time. Probably, I mean, a little bit reflective of what Kate was feeling most yeah. of the time too. Yeah, I mean, she just kind of got pulled into this world that she really had no idea about and she was lied to over and <sighs> over yeah that was a shame like they kind of pulled at her strings like oh you can make a difference and take down these people but in the end she was just a pawn a tool and i feel like what um what's his face said at the end i mean it was pretty clear clearly true that this is the like he said the land right. of wolves and she was not that. I mean, the other guy was definitely a wolf. The main Josh Brolin's character, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I guess if we kind of said earlier, she felt very out of place, and exactly. I think that's why she was just. I mean, she was a law-abiding person. Yeah, wanted by the to book. do things by the book, and they were not doing things by the no. book at all. I just, yeah, I did like how they did that. Like they just showed her just. Looking at her surroundings, everyone else knew each other, but she's always on the outside looking in. Yeah. And I imagine they gave the same, they did the same ultimatum for his, her friend, her partner, about like what you saw here was by the book. Oh, but then again, Maybe, but he didn't see the much. same things that That's she saw, too. especially with that ending with the officer. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have, yeah, Alejandro's character, he was always shrouded in mystery. It's like mm. he, he kind of knew, like, he was, definitely had a dark past, but yeah. not exactly what it was. But then he had that big little twist at the end. He was with the Colombian cartel, and the Americans figured if they were in control that wow. they could kind of control it too that's I guess. crazy yeah just like minimize the the chaos a little bit controlled chaos controlled chaos yeah exactly i mean i don't know much about cartels and stuff like that in reality but mm -hmm. i feel like this has got to be rooted in some, some sort, of truth. sort of truth i, I know. know there's a lot of messed up stuff that happens um sneaky government things <laughs> i mean i i know the the cia is has a lot of like a dark past mm -hmm. so that's i don't know it's scary to think about exactly. and it just makes you really feel for the i guess that was kind of the point of showing um the off silvio's story Silvio was side. how i mean he was involved obviously he was a corrupt cop but he was more of like a normal guy who mm -hmm. and he had a normal family who just was involved like pulled into this chaos just another pawn right of it all yeah yeah <clears throat> and how easily his family was affected by what the americans were trying to do and just that ending <clears throat> and just that ending just the kids playing trying to play football but then in the distance gunshots it's just like it's a lingering reality I never wanted to get rid of the drugs in the first place. Yeah, I, th I think like having Kate's character worked really well because mm. I feel like the viewer can really empathize with her and right. kind of like, not like feel like they're the same, but 
I feel like she has a lot of the same concerns and questions that we did as we were watching. Exactly. So it really, I don't know, it just helped with the viewer experience mm -hmm. instead of it all just being all these like macho tough guys, <laughs> you know? Yeah, there was a, a couple of times where we were like, oh, what's, what's going on? And then like right after Kate's like, yeah. what's going on? Exactly. <laughs> so that was great that we kind of went on this journey with her seeing all this chaos unfold. I know, and it's gotta feel so frustrating for her because the only reason she agreed to this was because she thought she could make a difference and in the end yeah she didn't really and now she can't even talk about it i know from the start man you knew something was up like just they omitted certain details like oh we're just going to yeah el paso they were very vague on certain details so like do you think they picked her because they thought she would be easy to like use I know. Because she was like, she's compassionate and she wanted to help. Yes. I and think... she wasn't asking a lot of questions or like forcefully asking questions, you know? Mm -hmm. And they knew like how like how bad she wanted to make this, you know, change. And mm -hmm. especially after what she had just saw at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, I feel like this is the most drama heavy film we've watched in a while. So mm. they always leave you just kind of feeling like you need to just... <laughs> sit on the couch and think for a while right and this is the first film by Dennis Villanueva I believe is his name that we've seen there's some others on his on um, that we want to see from mm -hmm. his like prisoners so maybe there's a certain you know similar theme of just drama and yeah. we have to hold um, off on those maybe <laughs> I know. but yeah it was it was a hard watch especially seeing just all of the unrest throughout Mexico and like, you know, like the bodies hanging. Oh yeah. Just, <clears throat> I mean, the people just out in the streets with gunfire going around everywhere, you know, just living their lives. I don't know. I mean, yeah, look what they did right at the border crossing. Just, you had a traffic, bunch of civilians and then they just shot off the place too. So it's always living in constant danger. Yeah, it's just, I mean, I, I know we're very privileged living in a place right. where like we don't even have to think about that. Yeah. Um, but it just really makes you, I don't know. I don't know, it just makes you think, I guess. Yeah. And feel grateful for what we have. Exactly. And just the intensity of the final scenes where Alejandro is taking out the, the cartel leader in front of his family. Mm. And then at the end when he's like giving that ultimatum to Kate. Yeah. You, I think you can kind of tell he didn't want to do it, which is why he was kind of like pleading to her, like, please yeah. don't make me do this to you. It but he would have. He would have. If, if he had to. He exactly. Would've. Exactly. Which is scary. Damn. I wish she wouldn't have said. She wouldn't have said anything. I mean, maybe they still would have made her sign it anyway. Yeah. 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 But she definitely felt like a threat to them, you know, because she was revealing or she was threatening to reveal everything. Mm -hmm. Ugh, where does where will she go from here? Yeah. What do you do? I mean, he told her to just to lie low. I probably yeah. go to a small town. Do something totally different. I feel like I don't know. She probably. I feel like based on her character, she would have a hard time forgiving herself. <laughs> yeah, there was no mention of Mario oh, yeah. in this film. That was very disappointing. <laughs> D minus. So I, I guess what Sicario is referring to, Alejandro. Uh, yeah, yeah, hitman. He's he's the hitman. Yeah. I guess that other guy was kind of a hitman that tried to kill Emily Blunt's character, but oh, oh, not quite in the same way. That was a good scene. <laughs> On how they unveil, because like before, I know, the second I saw the colors of the bracelet, I was like, oh, oh no. Because they had zoomed, they had zoomed on those bracelets a couple different times. One at the bank, and then another when um, I think they were they had panned to Manuel Diaz talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. He had a bracelet on or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then oh, that zoom back when they returned to that guy's place, that was good. That was a good scene. Well, anyway, um, hopefully we weren't too rusty. Yes. As far as commentary wow. and reaction and everything, but felt good being back. Yeah, yeah. I I would say it wasn't what I was expecting, but mm. I didn't really know much about it to begin with. Right. So no complaints. Exactly. Overall, I had a good time. And there is a sequel, right? There is. Do you know if the same or who is in it? If it's the same uh, actors? I think it's really it, different. I think Benicio del Toro might be in it, but don't call me on that. As far as anyone else, I am not sure. Yeah. So we might have to check it out someday. Mm -hmm. Is it is it any good? Is it you know? Right. What's it? Yeah. Like you know. Compared to this one. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> um, I hope everyone enjoyed today's reaction. Our first mm -hmm. one back. Woo. 
and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.